guys. This is how to calculate the frequency uh, you hear when you tap each tube on your xylophone. Okay, so this is part three, part um, two, calculate. Okay, um, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is take your ruler and measure the length of each tube. All right, so um, I measured my lengths of mine. Your tubes are not gonna be the same length. Don't write down these numbers. Um, pause the video now, go measure the length in centimeters, and then come back here after you do that. I'll pause too. Okay, so now you've measured the length of each tube in centimeters. Um, actually hit pause again. If you didn't write them down, uh, somewhere next to them. Make sure they're written down so you don't lose them, but then you could come back here um, Okay, so um, Now what I want you to do is convert each of these numbers that I'm underlining each of these lengths To meters. How do we do that? Here's an example My longest tube is 21 centimeters. Here's the decimal place for that tube I need to skip that decimal two spots to the left, all right, and get 0.21, 0 0.21. I'm going to write that over here, 0.21 meters, okay? So for my second tube, it's 17 centimeters. You have a different number. I'm going to skip that decimal two spots to the left. I'm going to get 0.17 meters, all right? And if I keep going, I'll get 0.14 meters. 0.11 meters. Oop, here's another one we should go over. What if it's eight centimeters? How should I convert that? I gotta skip it two to the left, all right? Um, so I skip over the eight and I skip one more time, which gives me 0 0.08 meters. And then my last one, five centimeters, would turn into 0 0.05 meters. You don't have the same numbers, but you do need to skip the decimal two spots to the left to convert everything to meters before you calculate frequency. Now, let's go ahead and calculate frequency made by each tube. When you tap one of your tubes, you're gonna hear more than one harmonic at, at, at the same time, okay? You'll hear all the harmonics, but we're only gonna calculate the first harmonic we hear from each tube, all right? So for each tube, we're gonna use N equals one for the first harmonic in our formula. Um, also, you're going to use 340 meters per second to your velocity, and I looked that up for your xylophone tubes, okay? So, on the top, it'll be 1 times 340. In this example, we'll, I'll use this for my, my long tube here, okay? So, I'm going to use that length, all right? 2 times 0.21. I got to use the meters for length, not the centimeters, all right? <clears throat> so 1 times 340 on top is always going to get me 340. And you're going to get a, probably a different number on the bottom. I have 2 times 0.21, which gets me 0.42. And if I divide, let me get my computer. I could divide 340 by 0.42, and I get 810 hertz if I round it. If you have a different length, you're going to have a different number. All of the frequencies will be somewhere between... Uh, they're gonna be big numbers, all right? So if you get a frequency that is something like uh, 50 hertz, point something hertz, you did something wrong, all right? They're all gonna be big numbers for hertz, all right? Now, you have to do this calculation six times, once for each tube on a piece of notebook paper, um, and submit that with a picture on Canvas, all right? So six of these, all right? Uh, this one won't label long, longest tube on my piece of notebook paper, and then you could do one for each other tube. 
Um, the only thing that is going to be different every time you do this calculation, it's always going to be 1 times 340 on top, but because the length of each tube is different, every time you do it for the next tube, the length on the bottom will be a different number, okay? Um, so uh, when you're done, submit a picture of your calculations, all right?